The word faggot originally meant a bundle of sticks, but during World War II, the Nazi party used it as a term to describe homosexuals. The Nazis used this word to communicate superiority because they believed homosexuals were inferior. The word is still used in a derogatory fashion today. People have forgotten the meaning of the word and its effect on other people. I always wondered why people use the term fag or faggot. I always knew it was offensive and it makes me uncomfortable when I hear it at school. I knew it was kind of related to the gay community, but I didn't know why. So I asked people at the local farmer's market if they use the term and why. And if they don't use it, I asked them why they think other people say it. Um, I have in the past, and the reason why is because when I was young, um, that term was used mostly as like a, it wasn't specifically for homosexuals, it was more or less like you were stupid or something. Um, no, I do not use the term F-A-G. Do I ever use the term fag or faggot? Sometimes. Um, I think other people use the term F-A-G because, um, cultural reasons. I also decided to ask Randall Graham about his experience with the word and his viewpoints on it. So with the derogatory term faggot, I have uh, limited experience. I've been shouted at once, um, walking down the street with my partner, and someone drove past and yelled, fucking faggots. It wasn't, it wasn't offensive. It was frightening. It was definitely something that was sent with a message of hate. And so that's what I felt. It wasn't so much the word, but the intent behind it and the manner it was delivered. I can't say exactly why they did, but my, my expectations of why those people would have shouted that from their car too at us was to shame, probably, more than anything. Uh, they probably weren't, well, I, I think clearly in the fact that they didn't stop, didn't make any contact with us. They weren't comfortable with us. And so it was an action of fear, I felt, but probably trying to shame us and put us, make us want to, uh, to put ourselves back in line, to conform. So I think people just need to be called out on the words they're using. I think a lot of the time people don't realize the harm that it does, the effect it might have on people, the meaning of the words. Well, I can honestly say I don't feel like I hear many people say queer in a negative way as often as I hear people say gay or fag. And so maybe that I'll follow the same path. I don't know if there's as much of a movement to reclaim those words, um, fag in particular. Queer, I know there was more of a scholarly movement, that it was an academic thing to reclaim this word and make it ours again. Yeah, I don't know. I know from my group of friends that fag is used um, pleasantly among us. So I don't know what it might do on a larger scale. It could stick around and it could be something that people use negatively, but it, if, if we take the power away, if we use it enough, then I definitely think it can, it can shift. Because if we're using it for ourselves, then the negative doesn't really have much power. And I think that's kind of what it's about, is having power.